Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you guys are doing good. In this video, we are going to see how to install Eclipse Java EE IDE on a Windows 11 system. You can follow the same procedure for Windows 10. It is exactly the same. There's not even a one bit of difference. So why do we use Eclipse EE? There is also a basic Eclipse IDE for Java developers, but it does not have pre-installed plugins that we need to develop a complete software with Java. Whereas Java Eclipse Enterprise Edition is the most recommended version of Eclipse ID if you are a Java developer who wants to develop complete application in Java, right? So that's what we are going to see how to install that. Before installing Eclipse EE on our system, we need one thing, one requirement is there. That is we need to have Java JDK installed on our system. So let's check if we have Java installed on our system or not. How can you do that? Just go to the start button and click on C, uh, just type out CMD, that is command prompt. And here just type out this command that says da Java dash version. Okay, if you get something that looks like this, it's good. The version might be different. If it is a lower version, update it to 8. I'm using Java version, Java JDK 8 or 1.8 because it is the most stable one, right? The latest version are 19 and 17, but I prefer using this because it's a stable version. If you're getting something like this, you're good to go. But if you're getting something that says Java is not recognized as an internal or external command, it basically means that Java is not installed on your system. So if you want to find out or if you want to know a step by step guide on how to install Java on your system, click on the I button or visit the link in the description. You watch that video, install Java JDK on your system and then come back and continue in this video. Let's go back to our browser. And here I'll just basically search for Eclipse Java EE, right? So this is the site that I'm getting. I'll click on this. And here you can see it says that a newer release is available. So I'll just click here because we want the latest version. So you can see there are different types of IDs. This is the basic one that I was talking about, but it does not have all the uh, plugins that we need. And this is the one that we want to use, right? Java Enterprise Web for uh, Java and web developers. This is the one that we'll go we are going to use, which is 516 MB in size. You can also check out other uh, support for ID for C++ developers, for PHP developers. You can check out if you want. So let's just go over here and you can see an option over here called as Windows x86 and 64. So we'll click on this. And this will lead us to a page where we can, you know, download it. Now, no matter how fast internet you have, the problem with Eclipse or this particular site is that it downloads very slow, really slow. Even if your internet is very fast, it will download really slowly. So don't worry, it's not a problem from your site. It's this mirror that they're offering us. You can change the mirror and try to see if the download is fast. But generally, uh, for how long I've coding, I've been downloading Eclipse and I've seen that it does not down download faster, right? So I just click on download, but uh, I have already downloaded it to save us some time because it takes a long time. So I'll just go to my downloads folder and this is the folder that will be downloaded. Now again, you have to extract this folder. So I've already done that, but I'll just show it to you once again. So just right click and here you can see extract all. Just click on extract and again, it will take some time to extract the folder. Not a long time, but it'll take around five to six minutes to extract. If your PC is fast, It'll take probably it'll take even two or three minutes, even though my PC is like moderate, moderately fast, but uh, it still takes me around five minutes. So I'll just, I've just extracted it. And here, this is what we get. Okay. So Eclipse is different from our other applications. Like if you're installing any other application, you have to follow a set of a rule, a set of steps after completing the steps only you have to, you can successfully install this, but in Eclipse, it does not like that. If you just see here, we have eclipse.exe, which is our application file. No, this is not the file. Don't get confused between two of them. You can see a logo is appearing over here. So this is the file that we want to run. But I've generally seen that if I just extracted it in the download section, and if I try to run it from here, it will not run. It will just be stuck at the pop-up that appears. So if you want, if you're getting that kind of error that your Eclipse is not starting even after following the all the steps in this video, just do one thing, cut the extracted file from here, cut it from here, go to this PC, go to the C drive and paste this folder, complete extracted folder in the C drive. Now, 
again just enter the folder click on the .exe file so this is the pop-up that you will see and as soon as this pop-up is there you can see that we get a workspace where we want our workspace to be stored I'll just click on this option so it does not ask me again and again where I want my work to be stored and I'll just click on launch as soon as I click on launch it will take a few seconds and then it will give me again starting the Eclipse ID as you can see in front of your screen right now we just wait for the Eclipse to start up and then I'll show you a few things about Eclipse okay now here you can see that Eclipse has started this is the welcome screen that you're seeing if you want to remove it you can just click on this here and you can see that we have our Eclipse ID ready so this is the light this is the dark theme that I'm having you can also you know play around you can if you now again there's a whole different thing if you want to customize your Eclipse to look much much better than this okay so there is one more video that I can create on how you can you know customize Eclipse and make it easier and uh, easier for you to access all the things and easier for you to you know understand all the functionalities so mention in the comment section if you want me to create a video on that as well and you can also change your appearances whatever you want to do what not you can you know whatever you want I, I can just make another video just mention in the comments if you want it or not so this is basically our Eclipse ID you don't have to install it as such this is the one you can just you know now again it is stored in this folder so it does not mean that you have to run come to this folder and again run this file so what you can do is you can see that the icon of the Eclipse IEE on your uh, taskbar so you just right click on it and click pin to taskbar okay so it will be pinned to taskbar and even if I close it from here so I've pinned this to my taskbar I've closed Eclipse and again I have the logo of that Eclipse on my taskbar if I click on that logo again you can see that Eclipse ID has started up so you need not need to come back to this folder and then start and then click on this and then Eclipse will start you can just pin it to your taskbar and you can just start your Eclipse ID from there and here on you can just create your new folders your new projects whichever you want to do you're ready to go so I'll just create a Java project just for the sake of it just for showing you how it's done okay so I have just created a new here over here the new Java project now I'll just name it as first project okay so this cannot be the project name so I'll just name it as first project because I use hyphen now see this is the one I was talking about so the, it is automatically saying that Java 17 because it is the latest version but I'm using Java 1.8 so I'll select Java 1.8 because this is the JDK that I have installed on my system so make sure that you uh, see that you have selected the proper option or not and I'll just leave the rest of it as default and click on next and okay this is the source file that is there and I'll just click on finish I'll just click on no for now and now this is our first project that has opened up inside the SRC folder now here it will take some time if you are opening up Eclipse for the first time and installing it for the first time it, it will take some time you know to load up all the things but here you can probably just click right click on uh, SRC go to new select a class and I'll just name the class as hello right and I'll just include public static void main argument in it this method in it right and now here you can see we have hello.java and here I'll just write something to see if our Eclipse installation is successful or if we are getting any error system.out.println so that's what I'll write you can even you know customize shortcuts s out if I just write s out then it will print out but that's for a later video if you guys want that I can show you all the shortcuts and plugins and how to customize Eclipse just mention in the comments if you want that video okay so I've written hello world and now I'll just right click here and I'll try to run as and run as a Java application let's try you can see over here the console if my console is visible you can see hello world has been printed so that means that we have not encountered any error right and our Eclipse ID has been successfully installed so go away and start coding in Java start doing things that excite you into coding right so that's it for this video I'll see you guys in the next video